What's going on my fellow elegant savages and welcome to week 7 of the Savage Beer Grove journey. Are you all? So it's week 7 of the journey and one thing that was brought to my attention by one of my fellow elegant savages on Instagram is that I don't think I showed you all what minoxidil I'm using. Now I want to say I did show this in my earlier videos but I'm not entirely sure but either way it goes I'm going to show you all now especially for any new people or newcomers or new elegant savages that are here this may help you all out so this is what i'm currently using right now guys i'm using the five percent minoxidil foam from walgreens right so i had a few guys reach out to me and ask me for a link i don't have a link because i went and just picked this up straight from walgreens straight from the store and for those of you all that don't know right there is three different types of minoxidil at least from my understanding there's the foam which is what i'm using there is the liquid and then there's the spray now i haven't tried any of the other two i've only used the foam reason being is from my research the foam dries uh the quickest and the liquid pretty much uh from what i've heard and what i've seen doing my research the liquid can lead to more side effects but most importantly it doesn't dry as fast right and it tends to like drip down from the face and get all over the place and you notice people getting chest hair because it's dripping down um typically if you're gonna going to use the liquids because you have a thicker beard and you're trying to make sure that it penetrates and gets down to your actual skin so i'm not at that point yet you know what i'm saying we got a ways to go before it gets that thick and that would even need to be a thing. So I've been really rock, rocking with the foam and I haven't heard anything good about the spray whatsoever. So I can't say I would recommend it. But while we're on the topic of what I'm using on my beard and what I'm help, using to help it grow, right after I hit uh, that minoxidil for the day, I go ahead and put vitamin E oil on it right and I actually use a combination of three oils so I'm gonna show you all three this is vitamin E oil 24,000 IU right got that from Walmart um, doesn't matter where you get it from just get 100% vitamin E oil I got castor oil same thing this is from Talia Wajid so it's not 100% this particular oil but the Jamaican black castor oil is the number one ingredient so that's the main ingredient and believe last time I checked it's all natural it's all natural except for a fragrance so you want to try and get it as natural as possible so you don't have any breakouts or anything like that and then we have this tea tree oil right from Nanda Guru which again I just got this from Walmart and I got this because it was 100% tea tree oil so and basically what I do is I mix it up in this applicator bottle here and what I'll do is I'll put I don't have any specific measurements so I know you all are gonna ask me that but I put primarily vitamin E oil in there second oil Jamaican black castor oil is really thick in the summertime so I barely put in that in there and then I just put a few drops of tea tree oil because that's really really strong and you don't need that much and uh, put pretty much how I apply that um, on a routine and daily basis is I only use minoxidil now once a day right um so about throughout the week i'm probably using it five to six times a week because i do thermal roll at least once or twice um and after i made that video minoxidil almost killed me um i don't know if this was just something i was putting in my head but i felt like you know what i mean while i was sleeping like my heart might have been pounded out of my chest or something like that so i x that out only use minoxidil once a day now um in the mornings and right after i hit that phone it dries pretty pretty quick and then I hit it with the oil after that and to be honest with you I only use the oil once a day as well because I was using it uh, like I said I was using both of them in tandem morning and night but I was just getting different side effects in terms of the oil there was so much oil build up on my face uh, and you combine that with it being hot outside you combine that with me wearing a mask my face started to break out so once I started making this part of my routine only a morning routine face started clearing up and I have no more side effects so if you're having side effects from using uh, minoxidil or even using the oils uh, twice a day I would say cut it only do it in the mornings and now I use that Copenhagen beard activator um, at night but real real quick let's go ahead and get into the games 
Let's get a not far away shot, but probably about right here. And the left side is still killing the right side, guys. The left side gives me hope. You know what I'm saying? This is what really keeps me going in my journey is this left side. Um, and I've tried to do better with sleeping uh, on my left more right because I naturally sleep with my right. So I realized that could be why this side isn't growing as much to lack oxygen at night. So I've been trying to sleep more on my left side when I turn my face or on the back of my head. Um, and I feel like that's helped a lot. You can look at the right side. It's still lagging behind, right? And there's still a whole patch area that comes straight down here. But it's definitely not as far behind as it used to be. So I think changing that up when I've been sleeping has been helping a lot. Now let's get these close-up gains and see what we got here. Right? Like I said, the left side gives me hope. As you look through it, um, you can see where it's light. Right here, here, a little bit here. But uh, I don't think I'll be able to show you all this because the camera can't get that close. But there is veilless hairs that are actually there. Um, right now, I'm just trying to do my best to get them to go terminal, right? And I did trim my mustache down. Uh, like I mentioned in week six, I didn't touch the soul patch and I didn't touch the goatee, so that's still there. The right side, we have some new terminal hairs in the connection spot. So we're almost to a point now where this goatee is official, right? Before, if you remember, it was just my mustache being pulled down, but now we're starting to get a little bit of terminal hairs coming. And let me see if I can get closer. You probably still can't see it, you all, but there's veilless hairs going all throughout this bald spot right here. So as I can get them to go terminal, this will start to fill in. And then we got that side, the closer we get to the sideburn, you know, the better it gets. But anyway, so that is week seven, you all. That's how it's coming along. And my goal is not to use minoxidil for like one to two years. I know some people are like, hey, I'm using it for a year, I'm using it two years. Y'all know me, I'm a lifestyle coach. And as much as I research health, I do not like putting unnatural things on or in my body or anything like that. So this is definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to get something that could really just spark it up and get my beard going, right? So the whole goal for me with minoxidil is to use it first three months. And ironically, it comes with a three month supply. Um, so it's just to get it going those first three months and then transition fully natural uh, and get the rest of my growth from different natural oils, essential oils, and whatever other beard concoctions I can come up with from, you know, natural substances. But I'm also in the process of, you know, going all natural with everything I put on my skin from like lotion to just everything. So if y'all are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. That's how we're looking right now. Braids still going crazy too. If you're in Atlanta, let me know. My hairstylist always hooks me up. Also, one last thing, you all. Killer Abs Thursday is making a return. And you already know we're about to be going up. So stay tuned this Thursday. I'm not sure exactly what time I'm going to upload it. So I'm up open for suggestions on what time you all will want to get that kind of content. Y'all want it earlier in the day so y'all can have it when you go to the gym on Thursdays. However you all want that to work out, let me know. But without further ado, that's it. I appreciate you all for tuning in each week and rocking with me. I'll catch y'all next week. Y'all. Yeah.